Yeah, let's yes. start with this one. Kim Kardashian says she's reevaluating her ties to Balenciaga after the fashion house caused outrage with its latest ad campaign. The ad showed children dressed in bondage gear. Balenciaga has since pulled the campaign and apologized. So, should Kim Kardashian end her relationship with Balenciaga. I can see that you're bursting at the seams <laughs> now. <laughs> I think that when she was po the children were posing with bears that, that were, were dressed, dressed in yeah. bondage. Yeah. 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 Not that it makes yeah. it, oh, it's a slight distinction. Sure. But we yeah. should be after it. We yeah. should care. We yeah. should be yeah. after yes. it. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. some of the poses people had said were also yeah. a bit suggestive as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you know, I think it's a it's a pastime for many people in our culture to just hate on the Kardashians, especially Kim. But this is actually not one of the times that I'm gonna join in, actually. Mm. And and the reason why is it's not like she's the one who created the photograph. She didn't take the photograph. She had no say on the artistic uh, direction of these photographs. Does she have a long history with the company? She does. She's probably helped them rake in millions of dollars with her endorsement and wearing them all the time. Who could forget the Met Gala? Remember the, the full coverage? Yeah. Is that Kim? And we're like, oh, yep, that's Kim. That's Balenciaga. Uh, in this case, this is me where I'm going to tie in discussions we've had in the past on the show recently when it comes to Elon Musk. We always think that the richest, biggest, richest people, the biggest corporations are the smartest people in the room. <laughs> How many people heard the concept for the photo shoot <laughs> who get really big paychecks and said, that's a great idea? Yeah. <laughs> Such a good How many question. people actually saw the photos when they were done, sat around a table that looks like ours and said, this is art and it's beautiful? Mm. How many people had to say yes that have nothing to do with Kim Kardashian. So mm -hmm. I don't know why we're dragging a woman into this. She has nothing to do with it, but I will tell you who I will drag into this. The head of the company that owns Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. And he is somebody who I know. Mm -hmm. His name is Henri, P uh, Henri Pinot, Francois Henri Pinot. Mm -hmm. He is the head of a company called Carrig. Happens to be married to one Selma Hayek. Yep. He's got a net worth of fifty billion dollars. Mm -hmm. If you want to drag anybody, it's him. Drag him. Mm -hmm. Leave her out of it. Yeah. Please. No. Please. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. And what's been more, even more troubling is so they've apologized, but even in their apology, what they're saying yeah. is, "Oh, you know what? We're so sorry, and we're gonna get to the bottom of who's responsible for this." And it's like you're responsible for yeah. this. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna look for? And I love that all the adults they have a shoot with children, and there are all these adults in the room, and now all of those adults are standing back going, the photographer's going, ah, yeah, I just get paid to do stuff, so it's not me. And then the people in the head of the company are going, oh, yeah, it's not us. We're just going to get to the bottom. It's like, so who's Who? protecting the children in this situation? You guys should all be ashamed of, your, of yourselves. You should step up and take responsibility for this horrific campaign. I don't know what you were thinking, but it's the hands-off for me that is really getting under my skin. It's like, you guys have to own this. This is you, you're right. You mean meetings they have to have before yes. they say yes to things? Yes! But now all of a sudden, nobody knows who made this big decision, <laughs> this multi-million dollar campaign. Like, it's a, it's too much for me. Mm -hmm. do, you think, yeah. do you think it was just a, like, clearly, it, it, do you think the, the, the end game was like, look at how provocative we are. Look at how controversial we are. And it backfired massively. Mm. But isn't it kind of funny? Like I keep thinking back of, to that movie Zoolander. Do you guys remember that from 2001? It's a, a and it was, it's a par <laughs> It bombed when it first came out apparently, but now it's a classic. Mm -hmm. And it was a parody of the fashion world. And now we're seeing things that like it feels like they belonged in Zoolander. Like <laughs> you can buy $1,200 sneakers mm -hmm. that look have been fashioned to, to be old and to have dirt all over them and holes. And it's right out of Derelict, which was, you know, the evil guy, <laughs> Mugatu's fashion line in that movie. So it's becoming stranger than, like, in their attempt to be provocative and controversial, mm -hmm. they're making fun of themselves. Like, mm. it's just so, it's, I'm not saying this is funny, but it is sh shocking that they're not more self-aware, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you take one I, uh, I always tell our guys, if you're the smartest guy in the room, mm. it's your own fault, <laughs> right? Mm. It's our job to put excellence around us, right? So when they, they, they make such a big deal about me winning seven great cups. I'm seven and oh in the great cup, right? Yes. 
<laughs> but <laughs> the the reality is, right? Um, I I could have I could have never won. I I could have never even broached on winning a game less more than a great cup by myself, mm-hmm. right? And, and and so our job, the whole idea, is to put excellence around you, people who protect you from doing things like this. Uh, when when as it relates to her specifically, though, uh, for me, there's three steps. One is is it unthinkable, right? Is this the unthinkable and I just got to leave this? Is, is it that bad, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Right? If, 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 if it's not the unthinkable, how about me, mm-hmm. right? Does this go against, uh, is, is, does this rub me the wrong way in such a way that I can no longer be here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if the answer to both of those two things is no, right, then, then we move to the, the last stage and, and, uh, uh, and, and then we, you know, kind of ask ourselves, okay, based on this situation, right, historically, mm-hmm. what has taken place here? Mm-hmm. And not only that, where do I feel they're going? Mm-hmm. Right. And so if I'm OK with the historical part and this is a legitimate mistake and they can move forward and, and, and then I'm OK with where, where it seems like they're going. Right. Th- th- then we're, we're good. So the first thing is, yes, mm-hmm. that is write, check, check the spot. I want to write down those rules, rules from pinball and this just spot. have them in my bathroom <laughs> mirror. So I see them every day. That's that great right. advice. Right. I think that's great advice. And I think it's a great way to live life. Mm-hmm. And I if only more people could live the way you do, because I I do think that, you know, I'll speak for me, I think that what happens is that a lot of the time we compromise those values. We were just talking about the World Cup. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I'm pretty sure most people in this country were cheering on uh, the nation that was playing and not necessarily thinking about all the people who died building that stadium. That mm-hmm. stadium's only going to be played, used, I think, like six times in this tournament. Mm-hmm. And so, like, there's all kinds of talk about companies or organizations like FIFA. Come on now. Um, mm-hmm. a, a, and Balenciaga, who are morally corrupt. And we talk about, like, hate them, boycott, this is terrible. And then the next time it's available to us, mm-hmm. or when we get distracted, it's like, yeah, I'll have those shoes. Yeah, I'll have that top. I'll have that bag. Yes, I'll watch this game. Yes, I'll buy tickets to that game. Yes, I can't wait for this game. Yes, the ratings for this, these games are up through the roof. And like, I feel like, you know, the evil people, the masterminds count on weakness like mine. And if there was more strength like yours in the world, maybe we would get farther. But I just don't think that. I just don't that all this outrage is gonna go anywhere. Sorry. Um, Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.